Riverbanks has been preparing for Hurricane Irma for since the beginning of May with our preseason site inspection and now several days in stockpiling water and fuel and all of the power supplies that we need to support the animal collection. We're fortunate that we have exhibits and buildings and holding spaces for all the animals to go in the event of extreme weather. Um, of course, this may be quite extreme, there's very strong winds, but we are prepared to contain all the animals in safe locations on site at the present time. Some of our mammal species, all of our dangerous animals will be locked down and secured in very strong um, holding cages. Mainly we don't want any animals on exhibits where flying debris or potentially trees may pose a risk for, for animals getting out of their exhibits. Um, and then just good general safety for the animals to be in enclosed areas. However, through all this, we're also paying attention to some of our facilities and structures um, and to minimize damage. However, there's nothing more important than the safety of our animals and the staff that care for them. In the event of a storm, Riverbank staff would, would implement a, a essential staff to report to work. We have a living collection that we, we, need, we would need to tend to immediately after the storm. There actually may be staff members that will, would spend the night here on site um, to continue to monitor our, our facilities and our animals if we need to. Obviously power lines and power damage, uh, trees down can pose a threat to both animals and people. So we, to ensure the safety of our staff, and our animal collection will proceed with caution. After the storm, we have processes in place uh, to ensure their safety. Our commissary department has also been preparing far in advance of the storm. We have certain food items that are unique to uh, a specific animal that we can't just go to the grocery store and get. For example, eucalyptus is transported in from Arizona and Florida every week. Of course, transportation uh, can be a challenge for bringing this, this uh, unique food to a very unique animal like koalas. We've had uh, ordered extra food for them and we're stockpiling additional bundles in the event of a power outage or problems with traffic and transportation for the eucalyptus. Zookeepers come up with some really creative means of, of safeguarding their animals in the event of a storm. Some of the ones we've utilized in years past, have we've, we've had uh, large containers for, for example, golden lion tamarins. Uh, some of them are outdoors and they don't, we felt like they didn't have suitable locations for, for high winds. And so we would move them in the, in the container and maybe put them in one of the office buildings and they, so they would spend the night in the office. Uh, also, um, a favorite is we've moved our large flamingo flock into the adjacent men's public men's restroom and they've actually been in there before through some storms and, and actually do, do quite well. You know, obviously the, the dedicated zookeeper staff that come here to work every day in all weather conditions, they will be here in the event of high winds. They're gonna be thinking about the animals. Some of them may actually be spending the night here, but some of them will be here at first daybreak to, to carry on and, and uh, perform what they do best is providing high standard of care to the animal collection every day. <laughs>